Hi, this is Derek Jordan. Welcome to the World Fusion Show, where we bring you the leading innovators in World Fusion music. Today, my guest is Mohammed Amin, who we're talking with in Tunisia, where he lives. Mohammed plays the kanun, and he plays traditional, original, and European classical music on the kanun, which is a kind of Turkish zither. Welcome, Mohammed Amin, to the World Fusion Show. Hi, Derek. Welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for joining us today. I'm so glad that we're going to get to talk to you and get to share your beautiful music. Thank, thank you very much for this invitation. I've been watching some episodes of your uh, TV show, and I really amazing how you're using uh, online interviews to get artists and ideas more closer. So it's kind, it's kind of a magical thing. Thank you. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, really interesting to do this, of course. Every show is totally different, and each person and instrument is different. And of course, today, we have our first canoon player, uh, which is you, and I'm so psyched to have to represent this instrument and show the beauty of it to our guests, uh, to, our, to our audience. Now, what attracted you to playing this instrument? Well... Back to 2005 when I I just discovered music and I wanted to learn one instrument. I was always admiring the harp and I I always uh, wished to play the harp. But unfortunately in Tunisia it's not a common instrument. Mm. Uh, we do have a harp, just one harp in Tunisia, but we don't have teacher to do this. And the fun thing is that the day I went to the music school to enroll in it, I discovered a girl playing on the kanun. So I didn't know the kanun as say in Arabic. So since I saw that girl playing, I loved the instrument. Yeah. The girl was too, but the instrument is more beautiful. So <laughs> <laughs> uh, then I started and well, uh, there was a period that because of exams, because uh, music studying uh, during primary school, it's uh, independent. So we've got evening classes. So after school, I had to go to the music school. And that was not always easy. There was a period that I stopped, but then I came back and with more energy. Uh, the other problem is that we don't have a lot of canon makers in Tunisia. Right. But even uh, this obstacle didn't prevent me to go on and advance on my playing level. So that's how I discovered the canon. I just wanted to play harp, but yes. the day I went to school, I discovered it. It's all sure. right. almost like a harp. <laughs> yeah, yeah, similar. similar. Now, you write your own music and you play other music too, but tell me what inspires you to write your original music? Yes, so uh, one of my best subjects during school and was history. So I've always admired reading history books, especially the history of Renaissance and the medieval period, especially in Tunisia. So what brought me to music is um, in one part is that when trying to play this old music of medieval times, uh, it is like one way to go back to this period and imagine how people uh, lived, imagine how uh, music sounded at that period. So after graduating from music school and getting my uh, national uh, diploma of Arabic and Tunisian music and diploma of instrument, I started to um, work on uh, traditional and old musical forms, like for example, the Bashra, which is a prelude. Uh, that we play uh, in the beginning of each uh, traditional music concert. And uh, unfortunately, in the Tunisian uh, patrimony, there is still just nine bashraf, so uh, very few of them. Because of the oral tradition, we didn't use to uh, a musical notation system till the beginning of the 20th century, so it's relatively very new things here in Tunisia. 
So I worked on those forums and I uh, got inspiration to compose uh, others. And then um, I worked on like 57 uh, new Basharafs that I published in my first book back to 2012. Wow, that's and great. Now I'm, yeah. So uh, it was like, I considered it's like a duty to continue on our patrimony musical heritage and to perpetuate it more and to get inspired from inspired from this old uh, musical composition and create new ones for the new generations and even for us for our period. Yeah. So that was uh, my my first step in composition and right now I'm still working on those old uh, musical forms. Yeah, that, that's uh, great. Right with other musical styles like jazz, mm -hmm. like classical music. So yeah. We'll discover what what will this bring us to. Yeah, thank you. That's great. I'd love to go to the first video now and listen and watch you play one of your original compositions. So nice. I really like that very much. Um, one of the things that really interested me about you is that you are also really interested in European classical music. And you have been working with the Tunisian Symphonic Orchestra. And we're gonna our next video we're gonna watch is with you playing with them a Vivaldi lute concerto. Right, and it's really it's really quite interesting. Um, tell me how you got interested in European classical and working with the Tunisian Symphonic Orchestra. So it's again my passion for history. It's that my, what brought me to discovering the Baroque music, the great Baroque composer. So I'm used to read history books and history uh, novels listening to, for example, Bach music or Vivaldi music and imagining myself going to that period mm. and traveling to Europe while I'm still in Tunisia. So for me, music is, is the easiest way to travel and beyond borders. It's true. So my first great inspiration was Bach and slowly I discovered other composers, of course, like Vivaldi and uh, for example, the Italian Giovanni Zamboni, from his composition, I played my ever first adaptation for the canon, which is, which is Sonata Number no. Six for our view. And uh, work, working with the canon is 
just not very far from classical music. I'll tell you why. Because uh, during the uh, Baroque period, the early Baroque era, there was uh, an instrument in Europe called uh, the Salterio. It's very similar to the canoon. Now mm -hmm. there is very few players that play it. Mm -hmm. well, the canoon is more technical and there is a lot of more technical possibilities with that. We can do modulation and microtonal uh, 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 changement, but the Salterio was hopefully used for accompanying uh, singers in small churches. So, uh, Really, the canoon. I, 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 I'm, I'm working on making it more accessible to play with the orchestra, the symphonic music, the classical music, and I'm very happy I had the chance to play with the symphonic uh, Tunisian symphonic orchestra, who appreciate the idea. Actually, now there is a project of working on concerto composed for the canoon, so that will be very soon. Nice, very good. Hey, um, I would love to now go to this video with you playing the Valdi Concerto with the Tunisian Symphonic Orchestra. That's just, that's fantastic. I really think it's great. And the canoon works so well as a lead instrument with the orchestra. I really think it's great. Um, you have a new project with a French harpist um, that you're really excited about. And so why don't you tell us about that? Yeah, so again, thanks to the symphonic, uh, Tunisian, Tunisian Symphonic Orchestra, I met Maya Darmé who is the French uh, harpist working with the uh, Tunisian orchestra, and she came to Tunisia. There is, I think, uh, four years ago, and she restored the the harp of the Tunisian orchestra that was from the French orchestra before. It is 100 year harp mm. that have been just forgotten in the basement of the music school of Tunis. So she restored it, and now she is working with it. So it's kind of museum piece, but. Together we had the idea to create a musical project that about dialogue between those two instruments. The canoon is for many people is considered like the harp that developed in the south of the Mediterranean uh, Sea. So it's almost played in all the Arabic countries, in Turkey, in Greece, and the harp came from the north. It's played almost only in Europe. So. With this project, we're going to make how similar the sounds are, how 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 different the techniques of playing, and how can we make beautiful um, 
in harmony with, the, with those two instruments. Very likely our uh, new video is being pub published, now we are mastering the sound. So we are working our, on pieces from the Baroque music, from the French music, from Ottoman music, from Andalusian music, from South Spain and North Africa. And that's the first step. Yeah, that sounds great. Now, we're going to use show on the show, at the end of the show, one of these videos of you and uh, this harpist so people, our audience, can also hear that new work that you're doing. Um, I, what I'd like to do now is go to the next video, which is you playing a traditional piece solo um, so we can see more of the range of what you do, okay? Let's do that. So is that a traditional Bashraf? Yeah, as I, I spoke about it uh, earlier, so it's one of the nine Bashraf that arrived from the old music uh, repertory. Uh, we don't know the composer. It's likely a music that dates back to the 17th century. Wow. And especially in this piece, there is a lot of Ottoman music inspiration. Because, you know, uh, Tunisia have been under the uh, Ottoman uh, Empire since the uh, 1574, officially. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, Mohammed Amin, I just want to really say thank you for joining us today and sharing your beautiful music and teaching us about your instrument, the kanun. And I, I just want to say thanks a lot. And we're going to have also a piece later in the show where we play together um, be, uh, through the magic of the Internet. So we're going to do that also at a later date. I'm really looking forward to doing that with you as well. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Derek. I'm very happy to have participated in this show. And I hope that... You still appreciated all those videos and all this music. You can follow me on my YouTube channel and uh, always on my, my website. And thanks a lot. We'll be sure to post that at the end of the show so people can contact you, okay, and listen more. All right. Hey, it's Derek Jordan. Thank you so much for joining us today on the World Fusion Show. It's been great having you and having you be part of the music. And remember, think globally, listen locally, and support independent music.
Thank you.